Hi everybody, it's your favorite reindeer Tide Digger here, and welcome to my very first video on this channel. This is very exciting for me, and hopefully you'll enjoy this as much as I did making it. So enough babbling from me, let's get into it. So let me start off by dropping some knowledge. Ever since MLP began, avid fans in the community have been making their very own characters that could fit into the world the show creates. So fast forward to today, and everyone in their grandmother's third roommate, twice removed, has an OC. But I bet you're probably watching this video either because you're being held hostage at gunpoint or because you want to know what makes a very good OC. Hopefully the latter. Okay, let's take it from the top. So for those of you who don't know, OC is an acronym for original character. Let me let me just highlight original and, and then bold it and make it much, much larger. There we go. I literally can't tell you how many times I've seen recolored versions of the actual characters in MLP. Nothing, Nothing in this world this makes, world world makes world my blood, blood boil more than recolored OCs. OCs. Simply put, it's just lazy. A good OC is one that has been given lots of thought, time, and effort into creating a unique and individual character. Copying off of another character is not original. Everyone on this planet, sorry moon people, has the ability to be creative. We're all creative, so use it. Okay, so now that we have originality down pat, we can get into the real beef of the video. So let's start with the basics. Any good OC has a backstory. Take a look at Little Pip from Fallout Equestria, for example. Why is Little Pip such an interesting character? Because she has a proper backstory established, and a unique personality. Now obviously you don't need to write the equivalent size of Fallout Equestria to make a good backstory, which, fun fact, was a modest 620,295 words. To put that into perspective, an average essay will be roughly around 1,000 to 5,000 words typically. In fact, a good backstory may only be a couple of sentences long. The trick is to create a character with a personality and a backstory that is... Realistic! realistic. It has to be somewhat believable in the realm of MLP. Now this doesn't mean don't be creative, but ask yourself this. Can I see my character being in an episode of MLP? Can this honestly be said without giggling to yourself? If you can, then you're good to go. Hold on, hold on, hold on, stop! Put that pencil of paper down before I do something we'll both regret. Heed my warning, weary writer. Do not make a Mary Sue or Gary Stu character. And by this I mean a character that is perfect in every single way. While we all want to make characters that start their days helping old folks cross the street, spending their spare time volunteering at kitten orphanages, and ending off their day doing public speeches advocating world peace, it's just not realistic. Let's take another look at Little Pip again. She's a great character, not because she's perfect, but because she's not. Little Pip is a much more relatable character to us because of her limitations. For example, her addictive personality. Think about your favorite characters from TV shows, to video games, to books, etc. Why do you love them so much as characters? I'll take the rash assumption that is because they aren't perfect and have weaknesses just like all of us. To sum it up, they're relatable, so by making your own original character, make them relatable. Also, one little footnote for me, be very cautious when making Alicorn OCs, especially when making an OC that reflects yourself. This goes back to the Mary Sue and Gary Stu argument. Alicorn OCs have a tendency to be perfect or close to perfect characters, which renders them very unrelatable. I'm not saying don't do this, in fact it could be done extremely well given the correct backstory and circumstances. Just don't say that I didn't tell you so. So now you have your idea for an OC, and it's practically bursting out of your head, anxious to be seen by the world over. You have a rich backstory that could surpass Skyrim's, your character is relatable, not perfect in every single way, and perhaps is a representation of your own personality. So you grab your paper and pencil, itching to draw your new creation, and... Blank! I, I'm not very good at this art stuff! Well, at least that's what I'm assuming a lot of you, including me, would say. Now don't worry, there are options. If you want to try drawing an OC for yourself, but don't quite know where to begin, then I would suggest taking a look at this video by Mad Munchkin, who does an absolutely fantastic job showing you how to draw your own character in a way that's understandable and easy to follow. Just click the annotation on the screen. When you do go about drawing your OC, I would strongly suggest adding your own personal touches. For example, I have these, uh, antlers? And I have the appearance of thicker fur. Don't be afraid to break out of the mold a bit and do something unique. However, drawing it yourself will take a long time and multiple tries. Heck, it took me a bunch of tries before I was finally happy with what I had. However, if you don't want to take this route, what you can always do is find an artist who can draw it for you as a commission. Now I must stress, please, don't go begging artists to draw your OC for free. Unless you're really good friends with one, and they will do it out of the bottom of their hearts, expect to pay some money for their hard work. Artists need to eat too, and they can't just snap their fingers and voila, a masterpiece. It takes hours upon hours of work. So please, don't ever ask for free art. The last thing you want is an angry artist. 
But enough listening to me, I want to hear what you have to say. Do you have a great OC? Then let me know about it in the comments below. I would love to hear what you've come up with. And with that being said, I think that's all the time we have for today. So go forth, create your OCs with pride, knowing that after everything you've just learned, you have all the tools necessary to create something great. And thank you very much for watching this video. Like I said earlier, this is the first on my channel, so I would be extremely grateful if you could leave a like if you enjoyed it. As well, don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep up to date with everything on the channel, and at the same time help support what I do. So once again, thank you so much for watching. This is Ty and Dega, signing out.